Hello, it's Bart from Nature Manufacture. This time I will show you how to import our Autumn Valley level into your project. Uh, in the first steps, I will show you how to import it into built-in, so standard rendered pipeline. And after that, I will show you how to move this, I mean, switch into HDRP or URP rendered pipeline as well. So first step will be import uh, asset that are marked as asset dependencies so mountain environment park dynamic nature after that we'll import forest environment park dynamic nature and river auto material this asset have to be inside our project before we import our autumn valley asset so let's import uh, mountain environment park in fact uh, Autumn Valley have few uh, additional textures, props, models, but the whole core of the park is inside these three parks. So inside the mountain, forest and river. Uh, after we import mountain environment park, we import forest. After that, river auto material and now we could import our autumn valley level into our project uh, be also sure that you have a post-processing stack inside the project as it is unity um, default component in htp or urp but uh, for unity build in called standard uh, you should import or or already have post-processing stack because thing looks simply much better and you have access to all the different post-processing effects in your camera and truly it looks much much better okay let's import our autumn valley level uh, as a last pack mm, there will be window that mark that there are dependencies to other assets and we know that because we import that asset before so let's import valet after that we could go to autumn valet uh, scene and open it as we could see it worked out of the box it looked pretty nice even at unity built in so in the standard rendering pipeline and we should change in project setting uh, rendering path to deferred because it's about twice faster than forward especially when we have multiple reflection props at the scene the second thing is that project should be in linear color space we use post-processing and post-processing doesn't work well with gamma so we use linear and that's all from the basic setup uh, now i will switch this to hdrp or urp it doesn't matter which pipeline we will choose because the steps are mostly i would say exactly the same so okay let's move this to hdrp uh, i create totally new project hdrp project as you could see in package manager it's hdrp and now after that i've import all these uh, assets so mountain environment forest river auto material and autumn valley into the project uh, and the next step which is exactly the same for urp or hrp is that i will simply step by step import uh, support packs which you could find in each asset so for HDRP, we import HDRP support pack. For URP, we import URP support pack. And for each asset, we'll import the support packs step by step. So yeah, let's import them then. As you could see, inside the support packs, you will find materials, prefabs, textures, sometimes models, uh, Steens, make it light, and most important shaders just for specific 
URP or HTTP version. So after you import them, assets should work out of the box with specific uh, rendering pipeline. I feel it's best way to do this. And yeah, after we import all of them, uh, we should do something else. As we put our river auto material shaders into multiple assets, it happened that uh, distortion check and uh, some of the water shaders migrate into wrong folder during import. In fact, it depends from the order of the asset that we import. So we have to simply move them together into river auto material folder to the other water shaders and check the group and simply re-import them. And this will fix this problem with distortion check. It may happen, but doesn't have to. It depends which asset you will import as a first. And after that, we could import the last support pack, which is related based, uh, directly to Autumn Ballet uh, level. And yeah, let's import HTRP support pack for, for it. Remember that uh, if you use URP, you import URP support pack. If you use HTRP, you import HTRP support pack. Same, you have a readme files directly for HTRP or URP. Please check them. Uh, why you have to check them? For example, at HTRP, after we import all these support packs, we notice that every material that you subsurface has strange green color. In fact, it's because HTRP need to add subsurface profiles to the list. This strange color is, uh, I would say, signal from engine that there is a missing profile inside profile list. To fix that, we simply go, uh, go to uh, graphics in project settings. Let's open it, edit project settings, graphics. We go to global settings and there is a list of the profiles which we have to fill. So let's add some profiles to the list. We simply copy and paste uh, profile name and add them step by step. This will fix all problems with strange color at subsurface uh, materials. These profiles are very important and we often see that many devs miss that step and the whole foliage and render look strange. After we add all these profiles to the list, uh, foliage will simply look fine, as we could see. And there's a one more setup that we could adjust and it's called LOD bias. In fact, mm, it depends from your PC, because if you want to use HTRP at low-end machine, keep this value as one. If you have a stronger PC, try to change it to a bit higher, for example, 1.5 or 2. And in fact, this will multiply LOD distances, so you will have more VETs, more batches, more draw calls at screen but modern PC should handle that. Of course, uh, turn off pausing just to see how many FPS you got. And that's all. This is how Steam look at HTRP. And yeah, play with it. Uh, you could modify it, build your game on this Steam. What do you want? In fact, uh, you could change the asphalt road into dirty one. Uh, it's a simple checkbox in hierarchy. There is an asphalt road, which is currently turned on, and there is a dirt road as well, which you could simply turn on and turn off, of course, the asphalt road. And that's all. Yeah. 
I hope you will enjoy that scene and goodbye.